8,000 if you like. I got something I've never done. 88, there's 88, 90, 90, 90. Hey, so my 8,000 guys all done all through. Log it up, sold 8,000. Okay, here's the unit. All right, just like we saw at the auction. The guy apparently was an landscape architect, okay? And apparently he did jobs for some richy rich people. These, I think, are all original. I think these look like they're all 1977. I don't think I've ever found this much Star Wars stuff in a locker. Look at this, look at this. Oh, this is cool. Yes. Oh. <laughs> all right, Ooh, we're having fun now, guys. Um, sometimes these things can be worth as much as the doll, I think. Spool 8, 8 millimeter. Ah, this is really cool. Alright, that, that was a good box. Guys, that is why I do this, really. What's up, Locker Nuts? Alright, we are driving to an auction. But we're headed there just for one auction, one stop with only one unit. Uh, it looks extremely interesting. All right, well, what we loved about this locker was we saw Star Wars, trains, and then when we called and got some information, he, we found out he recently had passed away, and it looks like it possibly could have a coin collection in it. Very exciting stuff. The locker's been there a real long time. All right, we are here, but we're waiting, and we've been waiting for about 45, 50 minutes now because the auctioneer's running late, and uh, all the while we're watching more and more people flood in. It's very frustrating because watching the crowd, the competition pool get bigger and bigger, and there's some heavy hitters here. A couple guys uh, already left because they've seen some of the caliber of the <laughs> bidders come in, and they're like, "Nah, we're out of here. There's no chance of getting it." So, or they didn't want to. They didn't want to fight that hard today. So, anyways, tick tock on the clock. Hope this thing starts soon. Headed upstairs. Been here since 2008. Now guys, this is our only unit here. We'll take a peek, go down the hallway, sell it right here. We want to make sure everybody gets good peeks. Seven by 14. Seven by 14. That's 98 nice square footage, coffee, sheer right? goodness. Four days on the queen out, guys. You got four days to get a queen out. Yeah, All right, guys, we're getting ready to rock and roll. Last couple awesome people in there taking yeah. their pinks. It's locker number 302. It's 7 by 14, guys. Couple bids on this. Highest bid right now, $300, guys. Over a $400 bid. Where's that? Four in the back, now five. Here's five, now six, six, bid on six. Now seven, seven, now eight. 14 came in, now 15, 15, go. 1,500 weed, now 1,600 is the bid. 2,000 now, if you want to go, now 21, 21, bid on 21. I got two down here, bid on 21. 23 now, 4, 4, bid on 24 now, 5, 5, 5, bid on 20, 5, 6. 700 now, if you want to go. I got 46, bid on 7, 7, who's got 4,700? 8,000 if you like. I got 79, 100, bid on 90, 80, there's 80, 80, 81. 81, 81, bid on 81. He says no, I got 8,000, bid on 81, 100. Who's got 81, 100, more bid, guys? 8,000 going to go one time, we're for 81, 100. I saw my 8,000, guys, all done, all through. Log it up, sold, 8,000. All right, what's up, everybody? Okay, we're back. Ooh. I am excited to get in here. So uh, I think we mentioned it before, but I basically we threw the lock on there and had to hit the road. The auction started a little bit late, like 45 minutes late, and we were already pressed for time to get to Camille's first basketball game, eighth grade basketball, and uh, it was a great game. I'm so glad we didn't miss it, and, and we got there right before it started. It was so close, but basically we locked this thing up, went down, paid, got the receipt, boom, hit the road. And luckily didn't hit too much traffic and made it on time. All right, and she scored eight points, which is more than I scored my entire season at that age. <laughs> so a uh, very proud moment and I uh, loved it. So anyways, but man, this one's been on my mind. I couldn't get back here yesterday and I got up like, I woke up like two hours early this morning just dying to get in this thing, thinking about it. Eight grand. That's more than twice as much as we've ever spent before on a locker. And wow, okay, well this is either gonna be a good or bad. I guess every locker is like that, but um, yeah, I, what can I say? <clears throat> so check this out. I brought my um, little setup here, table, garbage can, couple empty bins, hand cart, and of course my backpack with my GoPro essentials, and no one's here. I got the place to myself for the most part, at least right now, so I like that too. All right, well, let's, get, uh, let's get this popped open. You guys ready? Just say a prayer real quick. Please Lord, let me, 
let there be some good stuff in here. Let us at least make our investment back and let there be nothing terrible in there. All right, amen. Let's go. All right, okay, I know you guys already saw this from the auction footage, but we're about to get a little deeper. I see something good already. Look at that, this is garbage bags. They're little ones for the kitchen, but we can use that, we can use that, that's good. All right, I'm easily impressed, obviously, but yes, good start. Let me get the, all right, I got my phone because we got a light on here and it does better with the dark areas. Let's do a little bit more snooping. Okay, here's the unit, all right? Just like we saw at the auction, which for you was just a little bit earlier in this video, but for me it's been a couple days. Uh, they also posted photos of this online, okay? So this isn't like the first time I'm seeing this stuff. Uh, they did show some photos. They weren't great photos, but we did see this right here. G.I. Joe's, I'm not sure what that is right there. Kakeda, right? But G.I. Joe's good. This though, this though, Star Wars stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, that's his toy trains right there. We like that. They did not show this. Couldn't see it till we're down here on our knees in uh, camera stuff, squatting down rather. That's intriguing. You do see some maybe tripods or something down there, or maybe that's for drums, because I do see a little drum right there. Yep, saw that in the photos too, as well as this right here, mountain bike or something. Um, specialized, that looks pretty nice, actually. See a lot of boxes. All right, Christmas decorations, saw that in the photos too. Saw this Mally's, this is some sort of like beauty supply store or something. Um, mm. I see right there books. I didn't see that in the photos and I don't like that all that much. <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta be honest. I don't really like that. Um, okay, see that right there? Huh, I'm just thinking to myself right now. I thought there was more dust on this when I could see in the photos. I thought I could see more dust on this. But maybe not. Maybe it's just the way the light was catching it. Uh, but you can see right here. Okay, maybe not. Look at that. There is uh, definitely a layer of dust on there. Although, they say the guy's been here since 2008. But that's not 2008 dust. Helmet right there. Some furniture, right? This piece right here, though. That's metal. I thought that was painted wood. But that is definitely metal. I like that better than particle board for sure okay this right here this this wood piece right here with the long skinny drawers uh one of the other auction goers thought that that would maybe be where we find the coins right there he said that's where you'd find like big poster prints and stuff uh they you know they would store that in those types of uh antique ca uh cabinets okay there's a lot of stuff in here uh, i see some more drum stuff all right, one guy brought a ladder. Jana got up here and got a, a better view of stuff, but I didn't I didn't do that. She said she thought she saw like wood crates back there, like wine boxes. And I think I see a tire back there. It could possibly be a second bike up there. I see some camping stuff, perhaps like a tent. This is a very interesting looking box right there. Oh man, you guys, I cannot wait to get into this. And we're not waiting to get in this. Let's, let's, let's start digging. Um, this right here though, this machinist box right here, we've had some real good finds with machinist box. These are worth some money. I found that one that was beautiful, beautiful in a locker where I had that gun safe. If you guys remember that one, that's going back a, a while. Actually, that's my number one ever viewed video and also my hate, most hated video ever was the gun safe one when I found the guns, which we thought might be illegal. Um, it's a file cabin or something. I see a lock right there. All right, managers just came to uh, give me a key fob so I get in the door. And uh, he, he showed me where the lights are. So we got light way better, way better. Good, look at the ceilings in this place. They go so far up. Man, if you put some big shelves in here, you could fit a ton. This is a seven by 14. Um, not a big locker, but there is a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff in there. What's that, 98 square feet. So it's almost equivalent of to a 10 by 10. Uh, yeah. But you know, sometimes you buy lockers, literally. This has gotta be feet plus on some parts, you know, good six feet tall. You buy a locker that's stacked three three feet tall all the way back, this is twice as much stuff. You gotta think about that way. This is, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, oh gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I got my chest harness on and uh, I'm pretty much set up, got my table. Ah, I brought the small bags apparently. Uh, I forgot those bags are a little, little tiny. I think I got some bigger ones in the car. Bins are ready to go. That's ready to go. Let's, let's, oh yeah. let's do what we do, right? Okay. All right, it's not, <laughs> not a great, oops. Not a great, great start here. Uh, empty, but you know what? We've got an empty box. Mm -mm. That's not good either. All right. One empty box ready to be filled. Okay, next up. Um, so, here's what we know, guys. 
the guy apparently was an landscape architect, okay? Huh. Wow, Cal Caldecott Residences in the Oakland Hills. So Oakland Hills are very close. Also close to here is a bridge which goes over to Marin County, which is a very wealthy area. The Oakland Hills also extremely wealthy. And apparently he did jobs for some richy rich people. Again, I, this almost looks like uh, condominiums or apartments or something. So if you did some commercial jobs, that would be, that'd be very lucrative. All right. But no value here, no value here. Those would be, those would be outdated and uh, not, not really relevant to anything. Huh, Inkjet Vellum SL Unbox. I think this is something to a large format printer. Probably something that would be printing these, this right here. Is this a uh, paper in there? I know, I think it's, geez, I almost feel like it's a, just a roller. I don't know. All right, we'll put that aside. We gotta look that up. Put that aside that might have a little ebay value but not that much yeah so hopefully hopefully he was successful uh just meaning because then he might have a little bit better stuff in here taxes don't show this don't show this okay. Okay, nothing good there um so taxes we would normally give back to the office give back to the owner but in this case the owner is deceased he did pass away um, you know what? We haven't looked him up yet, though. We'll have to do some research to see what we can find out about him. Uh, here's more paperwork, really. Yep, nothing in there. Just more paperwork. Okay. More plans here. Hmm. Marin Lagoon. San Rafael, that almost sounds like a uh, like a government project or something, but no, I don't know. It looks like maybe a home development. How old is this? Because they don't do a lot of developments in Marin. 2003. Okay. 2003. Hmm. Interesting. So far, it's been not a lot of value so far. Yikes. This is all mildewed. Got wet at some points. Packing paper. That's too bad. I could have used that, but maybe we can at least uh, recycle it or something. Lampshades in a pot here. I'm having a hard time even seeing it. Oh, there, Kirkland. Okay, this is Costco. It's decent. It's kind of gross inside, but we'll bring it to the flea market. I want to get in there. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, what do we got? We got pens. There's a what's this one again? That's Parker, right? It's got the arrow on it. Hmm. It's decent. Huh. Is that a ring? Anything goes. Okay, anything goes. It's a ring, but it's it's not really like a anything. <laughs> it's nothing really. And a bunch of little junky junk in there, a little SIM card for a phone. Music books. Music books. A little bit older music books here. Spanish guitar method. Fun with the guitar. Mel Bay. Introduction to guitar. Wait a second. Someone said they saw a guitar in here. A guitar case anyways. I just remember that. Where did they see that? Maybe some of the guys who got up top saw that. Huh. Okay. Right, I'm not seeing much in here. I'm gonna shut the camera off, but I'll dig through everything and see if there's any goodies in here. This is kind of neat. This is uh, some Bible class homework. And look at the date on it. Uh, 80, 81, 1981. And there's his name right there, so I'm not gonna be hiding his name, I guess. But um, yeah, he had Bible class. That's, that's interesting. That suggests maybe he went to private school, which also suggests maybe they had his family had a little bit more money. Uh, neat uh, retro vintage folder there. All right, um, I put us a couple things aside like schoolwork and stuff that I'll get back to the family. Uh, the parents are still living. They are elderly, but maybe they want that back. I don't really know. We'll let them decide. Uh, all right, a little phone, flip phone, AT&T. That's in good condition. That's a good find. Oh, this was in between a couple things. This is, uh, this is interesting. Oh, look at this. Andrew loves the Mesopotamia B-52s, Surf Punks, and the Go-Go's. 
And there's a boogie board sticker, pipeline. This is cool. It's a little journal from 1981. So let's see here. He was 54, I think, which puts him like three years older than me. I was 11, so I think he was 14 when he wrote this little journal here. Isn't that neat? Okay, well, we'll get that back to the family too. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. Favorite re recipes from the Polish American Kitchens, a little vintage cookbook. Another one. And ph Photoshop 7. Hmm. Okay, let's get this box right here. All right, I've kind of dug around it. Uh, it's a little light. No, it feels all right. Okay, this is really important here, guys, because that box and the Star Wars box, two of the reasons I initially turned on to this locker. So if it's in here, if this is the guy's G.I. Joe's from when he was a kid, and he's right at that right age where this would be vintage stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah, this could mean that he's gonna be, you know, he's a collector. He keeps this stuff, and that's what we want to find. Okay, this is the old, old G.I. Joe's. I was thinking like 1980s G.I. Joe's. This is the older ones. Um, what's this? Zero King. Huh. Vintage jacket there. I don't know if that's vintage cool or if that's just vintage. The zipper's thrashed right here. It doesn't necessarily mean it's not desirable. They go for some weird stuff at the uh, vintage market. Okay, but this is cool. Oh, wait, he's missing part of his arm. <laughs> he's an amputee but he is definitely a vintage gi joe Let's see if i can get this off gentle it's a little little stubborn this zipper come on dude um i was just seeing if i could find any markings on him but we might have to get a little oil or something on that thing to make it go down i don't want to tear it look at this look at this oh this is cool yes oh <laughs> All right, Ooh, we're having fun now, guys. We're having fun now. This is, yeah, this is cool. All right, look at this stuff. Gun cleaning stuff, I think, and some bullets or some shells. Just shells. Neat. A whole bunch of them, right? Well, here's some little flippers for a G.I. Joe. Look at this, military police. It's a little crusty, though. That's a Hot Wheels. 1970 I think or 70 something that's pretty cool but it does have a little crust developing on it oh here's an here's a hand I wonder if that's that guy's hand but we need his forearm too yeah here it is I think he broke it all right well here mmm more accessories for the GI Joe this is great that's really good oh wow this is really really good so there's a uh, forearm and hand right there. Looks like a bicep. A bunch of guns. This is good stuff. I thought this was for gun cleaning right here, but it's not. This is more G.I. Joe accessories. A little pickaxe or something. Um, sometimes these things can be worth as much as a doll, I think. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's another guy. Mm, this is... War was tough on these guys. They are in pieces. But look at all this stuff. This is great really good look at all these guns there's more guns than gi joe's so maybe we'll find some more dolls right let's see hmm so cool i wonder if this box is worth this definitely looks like the vintage box i'm gonna take this guy out actually all right <laughs> i want to get in that let me move this one first and camera stuff this sounds interesting we're already getting in this thing aren't we Oh, we see back there another file cabinet. That's not necessarily good. All right, just a lot of boxes. Boxes are good. File cabinets aren't bad, but there could be good stuff in there, but usually it's paperwork. And knowing that he owned a business, uh, yeah, it's probably paperwork. But this is good right here. I'm not sure what this is. Eight, oh, what is it? Samagon, Samagon. Quantaray, made in Japan. Okay. This looks a little nicer. Look at this. I wish there was a cap on that. Um, Nikon. This looks pretty decent. N50. N50. Okay. That's empty in that box. Instruction book for the N50. Okay. And, oh yeah, okay, there's something in here. What do we got here? Uh huh. Oh yeah, old movie camera, I think. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's. What's going on with those different lenses right there? <laughs> that is neat. Revere iMatic Spool 8. 
eight millimeter. Okay. Ah, this is really cool. I dig that. It's different. I have a feeling you just turn that to turn that to change the lens. Different. Ah, oh, man, that's so cool. All right. Definitely, we'll have to research this because um, I do not know the value on these. I know we don't find them very often. That much I do know. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This one. Drum roll. There could be more expensive stuff here, but this I'm like the most excited about. Okay. Oh, ho. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Let's go here. A couple of books. I swear I read those when I was young, too. And look at this little uh, illustrations. I swear I did the exact. This is like this guy bought my locker. Or like I bought my own locker. Look at this. 1977 Frisbees. That's pretty cool, too. Mm, 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 mm. All right. What is this? This is an elevator. Okay. Hmm, put all the guys, okay, I remember this thing. I just don't remember what it goes to, but you put, you stand them up on here and you can move them so they all rotate and whatnot. And then there's this, I don't know. That's a little robot guy. This is really good. Uh-huh, whole bunch of stormtroopers, R2. That's not a C-3PO, but there's Darth Vader. Oh, I see Luke's high, Luke Skywalker's head just floating around in there, that's... Darth Vader got him. <laughs> Didn't cut his hand off that time. Going straight for the head. Alright, this stuff I think all goes together somehow and builds a set. It's like going to be like the control deck of the... Oh, wow. Got sidetracked here, guys, but look at this. This is great. This... Yeah, that goes on here like that. I don't remember this piece. The guy sits here, maybe it goes like this. Alright, this gotta be all in the control deck. This is for like the Death Star or something, like inside of the Death Star. Stellar probe. I don't know if that's Star Wars. This is for sure. Oh, not that. And Drew, okay. Alright. There is There's Luke Skywalker with the missing head. Okay, so we got his head. But then look at this, got some droids here. Bag of droids, good stuff. There's Princess Leia, Han Solo, Chewbacca. All right, I think that might be Luke too, right there in that X-Wing outfit or something. These I think are all original. I think these look like they're all 1977. I'm gonna have to get uh, magnifying glass because my eyes are pretty bad. I I think that's a 77. That's a, This is good stuff, guys. This is good stuff. Oh man, this is good. Look at this. I know what this is. This guy right here is the creature that was inside the trash pit, the trash compactor. That's the little creature. And these guys in, from the cantina, I think. Walrus man or something like that. Ooh, it's all coming back. It's Guido. This is all coming back. Hammerhead. <laughs> yeah. I forget this guy's name. Pig face or something like that. Jeez, oh, this is good. I had all these guys back in the day. These ones actually look like they're in pretty good condition too. All right, this X-Wing though, looks like he put grease or paint on it or something. There's a little craft there. I don't know what that is, it's a land speeder. That says 1978 on this. All right, that's good. Oh, I'm having fun. Oh, look at this, Luke Skywalker, Hoth battle gear, the card for that. Card's gonna be worth a little bit of money, even if we don't find the guy. Oh, this right here. This is the bag of gold right here. Those are all guns. Oh, there's a little guy. What is that? Oh, it's a C-3PO keychain or something. 1977 20th Century Fox. It's a little diecast guy. But these are all guns right here. All little plastic guns. There's uh for the Tuscan Raiders. See them people? Okay. Oh, and there's a, speaking of sand people, we got a whole army of them right here. And Jawas. Oh, it's good. Jawa. Jawa. Nice. This guy had quite the set. I had more. <laughs> my parents bought me like every single thing that came out and kept all the boxes and everything. I sold it when I was in my 30s. 
dumb 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 should have kept it so i think this guy's done like his own like distressing of this they did not come that way i don't think I'm pretty sure it didn't come that way um but you guys tell me is, is this factory all this charred look i don't think so but i might be wrong but i do not remember a version like that there's a cockpit cover that's not good to drop those sorts of things 1978 so i'd still be from the first movie hmm yeah that's cool x-wing and here's a tie fighter it's a little bit yellowed up and there's the wings and okay, more pieces probably for the set and his graduation cap all right there's something else right here unfortunately that looks like it may have been broken part to the cannon i believe all right that's guys this is fantastic right here i tell you i don't I don't think I've ever found this much Star Wars stuff in a locker. I think this is like the biggest Star Wars score. And I'm not saying this is a big score. Because like I said, my collection when I was a kid was massive. More than this. I mean, like, it would have taken up like the, I don't know, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm going to take a picture right now of this. This is, uh, this is really, really good. This makes me happy. I have found some of these parts before. I found a TIE fighter before. I find like three vehicles in one locker. A couple characters in another. But I've never found this much man i hope there's more of that i do all right that that was a good box that is guys that is why i do this really i mean we've been having fun with trains and we have fun with women's clothes and jewelry it's some great finds this year but really i mean i'll be honest with you that kind of stuff is to me the biggest thrill even if it's not the biggest monetary it's good good money but even if it's not the biggest monetary it is a thrill because that's my youth right there. That was my, you know, seven years old on through, I don't even know when I stopped like, you know, stopped being consumed with Star Wars. That was my life. I love that stuff so much. So when I find it now, it's like, man, it just throws me back. I love it. Okay, this is just some shelves right here. A couple of shelves. Nothing too exciting there, but I just posted a picture of it on Instagram. And now my Instagram is blowing up. <laughs> okay. Hey, this actually this specialized bike here looks pretty nice the back tire is missing so that might be just the back tire back there and not a separate bike this actually looks like a, a higher end specialized what's this richie this might actually be uh customized too and this thing right here i'm trying to figure out where I, what i grab next everything is kind of mm. oh yeah and i do see one thing too it sees there's some models in here there's a corvette model up there and there's a couple corvette models right there we saw that in the photos on the website and that was another thing that made me interested obviously we're having some luck with models right now good grief this is uh packed in here okay what comes out next kind of want to take the stuff out in the order that it was put in there's a uh probably for the drum set little seat nothing too uh interesting with the shoes here it's just some decent shoes cole Haan, that's good We gotta get some of this stuff down. Oh, okay, look at this. <laughs> I'm seeing up here for the first time. Check it out. Ah, oh, there's a sofa back there. Oh, okay, there's a some sort of guitar or something right there. All right, the neck of it sticking out. That's what people must have been referring to. And yeah, that's not too interesting. This looks like a drum case right there. I thought maybe it was a garbage can, but it's a drum case. And there's another one. Uh, yeah, there's probably a full set of drums in here. I don't like the sofa. Mm -mm, I don't like it one bit. All right, it's uh, very hard to sell furniture right now, especially upholstered furniture. Hardwood is a little easier, but I just prefer the boxes, quite frankly. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's not a good sound. I'm barely even lifting that thing. And wood is falling off of it. Okay, this is not a bad piece right here but unfortunately it was stored very poorly hmm okay that's a nice looking piece uh it's a little hmm, a little rickety not too bad these drawers go with it these drawers look older and then this is a panel yeah this sits right in the front here right up in here that's pretty nice i yeah, I like that. I think that would sell. Hopefully, whatever piece just fell off of it. This piece. Ah, okay. I don't see it broken. It just popped out, maybe. Hopefully, that can go back in and get it shored up again. Hmm. 
because we can sell that. Or we can at least give it away. Allison Chains, that's like a little kid's size. Huh. Small, petite child right there. Allison Chains, that's kind of funny. It's not exactly a little kid music, but <laughs> that's funny. Just a few bags. And drapes. Use Patterson. Okay. And a vintage tape dispenser. That's kind of nice. Okay. Here's a Yakima bike rack for a car. Yeah. And then, um, that is brand new in the bag. Okay, Mega Sale, 40 bucks. Not super expensive, but that should get us a few bucks at the market. Okay, these boxes are marked Christmas. And I can hear them jingling around in there, so. Okay. Oh man, got a whole bag of bows. That's not cool. Yeah, whistle, swizzle sticks, swizzle sticks. Christmas, all brand new. Eight bucks each, okay. More. Yeah, those are kind of cool though. Oh, those are glass. Wait, these are, oh, Pier 1 Imports. There's glass, okay. Ice cool lights. Foot oper operated switch cord, it's good. And some more plates in here in this Pier 1 stuff. Nice little wreath. Eddie Bauer. 25 bucks. Okay, that's good. Okay, lights. That's what we got. Stockings. Yeah, maybe, maybe some older stuff in here. Let's, let's look. Broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's nice right here. That's cool. It's not it's not like super fancy or nothing, but it's alright. What is this? Hawaii Christmas ornaments? It's kind of funny. Put that aside. Oh boy, we're gonna have a lot of ornaments here. This is all, that's what all this is, is wrapped up ornaments. I see a lot of those icicle, glass icicles. What's this? Um, I think it's plastic. Oops. Frosty, frosted glass. Uh, it looks like a, I don't know what that is. Almost looks like a salt or pepper shaker, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's cute. All right. Um, yeah, if you guys watched my uh, channel before, you know that I don't get super excited over Christmas stuff. Um, it takes a lot to impress me in that department. That's empty, I think. So let's just put this back. This will just go to the market. I didn't see anything. Maybe I'll put these in the auction. I don't know. I'll put it aside. We'll make up our mind later. But uh, the rest of it's like me. I like the really exciting stuff in the auctions, not just the regular old common stuff. We like to put the really, like, Star Wars G.I. Joe's, those are great for auctions. But this kind of stuff, eh, it's going to be a little bit on the nicer side for me to put it aside and save it for one of our events. Okay, got some books here. Oh, this is heavy. Okay, what do we got? Oh, well, that's actually pretty cool. Now, look at this combat aircraft. That's a neat book. Dang, that's really cool. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, like that. That might, look at my hands, that's terrible. Ah. Okay, let me pause that. I'm gonna take the cart down and get some wipes to wipe my hand. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, just a little change of plans here. Not change of plans, but another uh, factor getting factored in at this point. Uh, they got a new tenant that is apparently moving into one of these units here right now so uh, they got a big moving truck out there i guess they're taking up three spots and this is one of them and they want to put stuff in this one now so um i don't know how that's going to affect us but basically the city will give me a couple more days to clear out but i'm like well i can't leave because we're I drive 45 minutes to get here 45 minutes back i gotta make each day count that i'm here uh but i do appreciate the extra two days so anyways i uh, just wanted to mention that and uh Man, it sucks. They're like five five doors down, so they have a big, huge facility, but they got two of us working at the same time. 
as neighbors. All right, let me get digging. I gotta move a little quicker. All right, this one says Warships, and that's a neat one too. I don't know about those, I'll put them aside. Stars, business, okay. crazy exciting there we'll probably just wind up donating that box all right that's what i think that's nice cooler bag but decent cooler okay this said books and it looks like books and that's too bad Okay, now I'm seeing this. This is not camera stuff. That is a setup for the drums. All right. Toy trains, let's see. We are going to be hard to be impressed with trains. Oh, okay. Brand new stuff. What the heck? Was not expecting that though. Was not expecting that though. <laughs> oh, okay, this is a little bit older stuff. All right, look at this. This is a little bit older stuff, but brand new. No, it's not brand new. Okay, it is open. There's a little crane on a flatbed there. All right, Rico Station. This Tyco stuff. Uh, I wonder if that's HO. It sure looks like it's HO scale. Tyco, a lot of stuff. Brand new stuff. Looks like he was meaning to set up a uh, display. Oh, there's some track right here. All right, hopefully that's HO scale track. I, if it is, I know somebody who is going to want that. All right, Joseph Raymond, you know I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> All right, um, got some little buildings. Nice. Okay. Okay, what's this right here? What is this right here? There's the locomotive right there. That's a metal. No, is it? No, it's plastic. Coal for car. ATSF 102. What's the one? Oh, that's the car number. ATSF. Okay, so um, it's, it, it is HO scale. That's good. Dash 3401 is the number. We'll have to look that up and see if it's got some value. Might have a little bit. Ah, this is nice too. Seaboard coastline. Made in Yugoslavia. Huh, okay. Got. This is uh, this is brand new here. That has not been open, although the plastic is getting a little brittle. AHM and AHM. All right. Yeah, like I said, it's hard for me to get impressed with this because of the other train locker we got. If you guys aren't watching that series, you got to check it out. There, right here, Tyco little um, controller or whatever it's called. Okay. Um, Hmm, this is neat. Oh, there's a bunch of little die-cast cars right here. We've been finding lots of those in our other locker, but they are all in the box pretty much. Brand new in the packages. These are older, though. This is some older stuff. This has got to be like 60s or something right here. AHM. S2. No. 450M Southern right here. 450M is the model number. I don't even know what model number that is, but... This is some older stuff. I think it's got to be 60s or 70s. That's what I, I'm guessing. Uh, not a bad little box right here. All right. It wasn't so much that I was like going to get excited about trains. I had no expectations of that being super valuable like the trains we have in our other locker. But what I liked about it is that it says collector, right? Trains, Star Wars, G.I. Joe's, camera stuff, collector. And that's what I want because if they're collecting this stuff and we've got all these boxes... And what else are they collecting? It looks like he's got a drum set, but I am starting to get a little worried that these might be all books. If those are books, this is not gonna be a easy profit. All right, it's gonna take a long time to get our five, uh, eight grand back, you know? Yeah. You see these models are neat. AMT, this doesn't look like it was, eh. It looks like it was started to do it and didn't get very far. The trim wasn't done. And the Viper, hmm, that one's almost done. All right, those are not going to work very much, unfortunately. What's this? Oh, a drum head. That's nice. Okay. 
valuable? I don't think so. All right, I don't think so. Look at all these drums. This is a full set here. I hope this is a decent... I know nothing about drums, guys. But I know guys who do. Rem Remo. Remo? All right, I got this little oh, pot or tray right here. And then these little cement pots right here. That's pretty cool. Um, that'll go to the market. I think someone might buy that. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress here. But it is slow going. And all this kind of stuff is just odd shapes. And... <laughs> It slows me down a bit. In all the books, I don't know what to do with because I don't want to put them back in, but these don't really sell at the market. Yeah, especially stuff like this. This is like landscape stuff. No, what is this? Hang on. This is... Oh, this is uh, synthetic grass, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, man. That's what it does. It's got the little black, uh, like, sand, rubber sand in there. All right. Hmm. What's this? Importance of living. Lin Yutang. Right. Uh -huh. side. Yeah, this this one says design books. Yep. That's what it is. Design books, okay. Alright, this stuff here I do not know value on. There's a lot of it though. Uh, it looks like more parts. More connectors. Okay. Checks. Tape work. Wine or up there. Huh. Let's see what's in these. Okay. Oh. Okay. Stag's Leap. I think that's an expensive bottle of wine, but it is empty. I don't know if there's any money in the box. The box is cool. That's an empty one. Okay. Go to the market with those. The drums I'm not taking to the market because I don't know my value on that, right? So, this... Yay, yay. Okay, we're going to have to empty all these out. I'll do that off camera. Uh -uh. Not good. This is right there, job files. But I'll empty all these out. Uh, I can just take that stuff to recycle. Alright, so the, you never know. There might be a little envelope or something. Here. So we're going to have to go through all of it. I'll do that off camera. This right here, big wardrobe box. Got some Hawaiian shirts here, possibly. That would be all right. The rest of it will just go to the market. I'll pull that out off camera too. I'm working tight here because they keep coming through this aisle so they can get in there. You know, right there, it really sucks. <laughs> really bad timing. Uh, so I need to get a lot done today. Just cramping my style. All right, we made some room. That wardrobe box coming out gave us a lot of access in here, a little bit deeper. Office, oh, that's not good. See all this wood here, parts of furniture. This I think is that large format printer. I think this is a large, like a sign printer or banner printer or something on its side right here, made for the printing his blueprints. I have a feeling that's what that is. And then over here, I'm just noticing all these big pieces of wood. Uh, it could be, um, well, it could be home furniture or it could be office furniture. Yeah, not good, not good guys, 8,000. And look at this. Oh, that's really, <laughs> really heavy. I think those are all books. And it says books right there. That sucks. Okay, well, let's look in here a little more. All right, that's more suck. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. All right, let's go over here. All right, now this thing right here, one of the other bidders said that he thinks this is where they, you know, what's would be. And I don't think they are. <laughs> I don't think they are, though. Yeah. This is his portfolio. Probably for when he's quoting a job. Uh, more paperwork stuff. So these large uh, drawers, they're good for putting, like, prints or, you know, if you're an artist. In this case, I think he put uh, his sketches and stuff, maybe, huh? So it is. 
Some good books right here. Let's see what he did. Okay, looks like he took art class. That's what that is. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, watercolors, little blueprint sketches. All right. That's yeah, nice stuff. All right. Nope. Okay. Nope. This little antique, uh, whatever you call it, drawers here. That might be worth a few bucks, but not much. Let's see this one. Nothing. Dang it. Nothing. Hey, what's this? That's a guy. That's a guy. Uh, a guy's um, bikini shorts. Male power, huh? That's kind of funny. <laughs> funny. Oh, I usually don't like to get ahead and stuff in these drawers, but right now I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little desperate. <laughs> Mm -mm. That one's jammed. Okay. Might be too much weight on it. So oh, I'll wait on that. Okay. The problem is right now we got stuff stacked so high and it's really heavy. Uh it's hard to get down, right? Got this, which I didn't want to put in the van right now. But uh then we got like a wall. We got a wall of junk. And I can't yeah. Alright, let me put the camera down. Let me get let me get something worked on here. First box. Hmm. Books, mostly landscaping books. I wonder if there's more value on that. If there's like a market for that. There's some black powder, like sand or something. A piece of styrofoam. Jeez. More sand. Not a good book. Alright, next box. Uh, glassware. <laughs> I'm only laughing because it's like almost as bad as books. Okay. Uh, nice teapot. Nice glassware. But not that nice. What's this? Daniel Design, made in Germany. Hmm, yeah, whatever. Might just donate that box. Ah, this fell down. Looks like his old mitt. <laughs> we'll put that aside. All right, top two, I think I maybe wasn't recording. Top two, two drawers, just some shoes and some sheets and towels. Nothing too exciting. Flea market, it'll go flea market, oh yeah. Those two are empty. Okay, this metal uh, thing right here will, will sell for a little bit. I don't know how much, but a little bit of value. <laughs> okay, I just scaled up this thing. I'll tell you, if I don't lose that 40 pounds, there's been no way I've been able to get there. So now I see what Jana was talking about. She says she saw some uh, wine boxes in there. Now I see them, the wood box. I was just looking at the sofa there. I didn't even look at the wine boxes. Oh, man, it looks pretty junky back here. Man, I'm hoping for more collectibles back here. i starting to get kind of a ill feeling here guys i'm starting to get an ill feeling because i'm starting to feel like maybe put his newer stuff in first and in the back the last stuff he put in was stuff that may have been in the attic or deepest in the closet or the garage um and that's why it looked the coolest uh i don't know it's too early to tell but look at this we got a big old skateboard right here oh, am i getting that on camera yeah there it is nice skateboard and what do we got here what's this this thing right here mm. Oh, that's kind of neat. He had some books on like Spanish guitar or something. That's what that is. Oh boy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. What is that brand? Vash? Nash? Nash. It's a Nash. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Actually, that looks like a really nice board. I hope it is. Okay, this box had some, let's just call it personal items in it and we're not gonna open that on camera in fact we're not gonna open that uh at all i thought it's gonna go in the garbage okay is there some some sanitation issues i would have with selling that but i know people do all right let's see what's in this one yeah. glassware oh this is kind of nice huh? huh 
This actually looks pretty really nice. That looks nice. Is that a vase or a glass? Hmm. top and it looks kind of interesting it could just be drum stuff actually now I say it I think that is what probably what it's gonna be There's only one way to find out uh-huh it's a drum okay hmm hope there's some value in that check it out the Colt Vulture 1990 yeah fire next box what do we got? What do we got? Oh, no, no, no. I was hoping for Star Wars stuff. And I got a dish mat, the drying, and a, oh man, a funky old coffee maker. Boo! Crock pot. Mm -mm. Oh man, you guys. Blender. Mmm. That box is getting donated, I think. Or to the flea market. Oh, where's our coins? Come on, where's the coins? Okay, what's going on with this? It said bath towels. Oh, that's not bath towels. <laughs> okay, little wood organizers. Those are cool. Um, USB cable. This thing, that's, that must have been what... Yeah, that broke when I dropped it down. Sorry about that. But not too sorry. Yeah, it's not good stuff, though. Just being honest. Shower hose, I guess. I don't know. Okay, AutoCAD 2000, a little outdated. I don't think there's value in it anymore. Okay. Repro film, self adhesive film. Hmm. Okay. This is... Right, this is all right. Got some little compass. These are nice. Wow. Alvin? Two of them. Alvin. Some more pro what are those called protractors? I forget what they're called. Compass? No. I don't know what they're called. The pastel some art equipment. I think we're making his you know stuff. His landscapes and the blueprints and stuff. Taxes, dang. I was getting hopeful because some of these boxes look like they've been weathered. I've had better stuff. Not this one. It's financial stuff. Bookkeeping records. Yep, receipts. Next box. Oh man, it's all books. Dang. Dang. Hmm. Now we're getting some fiction paperbacks. Okay, next box. Cassettes, it says. And cassettes it is. What do we got here? Nothing. Empty. Okay, there's Y and T. A little bit of rock. Iron Maiden. And excess. Not great. Not great. Some more cassettes here. to say guys this is not turning out good sketchbooks mm -mm. maybe I should have just stuck to my train locker what do you think 
There's an old lion. Oh, there's some older stuff here. Um, I don't think big money, but here's an old Lionel, 1977. And then here's some football stuff, 84. Okay, we'll put that aside. This is uh, kind of funny. I just rolled this can out. Something's vibrating in there. All right, guys, up here, we made some progress, okay? We got, I got all the drums out. Um, I didn't really open them. I just put them in the van. Um, just trying to make some room. Still got another partial load here. Got, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of stuff out here. But I am making room. Look at it. Put a, they put a barbecue in here, unfortunately. I see the charcoals all spilling out. That sucks. There's another part to the drum right there. But a lot of big, sloppy, like, odd-shaped items. All the drums and stuff is just weird shapes. Uh, right here, we've got a bag. This Look at this. The, this is how long it's been here. This plastic is just completely just falling apart. A little copper teapot. That's kind of nice. And look at this. I think it's a tree topper. That's not bad, right? That's nice. Okay. Some of it just fell back there. Not a good pack job on this. Oh, my God. Hopefully it wasn't more of this. Look at that. The tail's broken. That wasn't me. It was already broke. Yeah. That's too bad. Look at this piece right here. That's brass, I think. Brass, that's nice. And this little wood birdhouse. No, it's got a metal frame on it. Mm, six bucks, okay, not terribly expensive. All right, let's see, give this a shot here. Let's see if it's... It's this side right here, it's jammed down. Weight's gone, this doesn't... Oh! All right, that pops right off. Okay, this this does not weigh much. This is going right here. Next drawer, let's see what's got. Mm-mm, closed. Man, you guys... Yeah, some Levi's. What's this? Handles. That's what it is. Mm. Okay. Restoration <laughs> hardware. There we go. Mm. Just closed, dang it. Well. Let's see, maybe there's something underneath the clothes. More window coverings there. I don't feel anything. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, here's that. Here's that printer. And it looks pretty old. HP Design Jet 220. Hmm. Oh man, I don't know if that's gonna have any value at all. It might, I don't think so, but probably have to look that up and see. Cause I'm gonna be hard pressed to pull a profit out of this locker. It's looking dire. Okay, what do we got back here now? A little, uh, it's a garage workbench here. I see tools in there. It's usually okay, but when you pay eight grand, you don't want to see tools. You want to see coins, Star Wars, comics, baseball cards, something. Come on. Come on. Uh, this box looks like mostly paperwork. Then I open this and it's got little uh, samples of, of some sort of stone. All right, some kind of manufactured stone. Probably for, uh, again, out for outdoors, like tile or something. All right. This box, super heavy. Books. All right, books. Hmm, it's an old cookbook right here. And, hmm, let's see. Right here we got the graphic work of M.C. Escher. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's a neat book. We'll put that aside. Might be a little bit better. Better meaning easier to sell. I don't sell a lot of books. Gardens of Hawaii, that looks like an older book. Yeah, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. What's this? Robert Kiyosaki, Cash Flow. That, that goes to the, we found that game recently. I have it listed on eBay. Yeah, I'm actually gonna put that aside. Uh, there's a little bit of value, although that hasn't sold yet. Those used to be really hot sellers, but that one hasn't sold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope, 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 nope. 
this is health secrets. There's not, not many secrets anymore. The internet fixed that problem. All right, guys. Well, I am slightly discouraged. <laughs> slightly. All right. And I'm saying slightly for the camera because much more than slightly. I'm, yeah, we're, I'm, we're going to take a loss on this one unless our luck changes. We got all this to go. And this is still a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, there's a lot of chances here. All right. There's still a lot, a lot of chances. When we see the big furniture and stuff, it's like, e that's going to that's going to come out in big chunks and that's going to limit how much more boxes we got to go through. you know what it's just going to take one box and i did talk to the manager he came over just to check on me and i said yeah, i haven't found those coins yet and he's i said i found mostly junk so far honestly and he's like well um he goes well it, it might be in here he said the father the father did tell him that he thought it was in here so fingers crossed but we're gonna wrap this one up i'm gonna keep going but we're gonna take it in the next video i probably should have cut this a long time ago because I don't even know how long this is, but uh, I'm still going to keep working because uh, as far as I know, they want me out of here in a couple days still. They don't want to rent it to me. Um, so I've got to, I got to keep going and there's room in the van. So why not? All right. So uh, we'll pick this up in the next episode. Like the next minute will be in the next episode and you'll see that soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locking Nuts. Oh, what do we got here? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Journey. Medium. That's pretty good, you guys. 1981. That is pretty good. Hawaii. I saw them in Hawaii. God, they don't. Medium. So, um, that looks pretty good.